All right, we got Mark from Aussie Heads and Race Engines here again. So we've got this 253 pulled down. And what we have here, like we said, uh, there's no oil getting back down to the sump, or a very minimal amount. It's not that dry, but with all the contamination, you can see here on the crankshaft, it's real, all the lines here. If you can feel the general rule with crankshafts, as if you can feel anything with the fingernail, you can hear it. Um, it needs grinding and you can see just there's just uh, you know contamination and that uh, it's just from not changing oil so if we go through the rest of the engine the boards didn't have that much wear at all because they were just smothered in oil just from getting sucked down the guides and by the PCV and I'm in the rocker covers areas here Right, you got your breather, it goes to the carburetor, that's the PVC, positive uh, PCV, positive crank case ventilation system, and positive ventilation is vacuum. That's all that is, it's just vacuumising the engine from, from an, the engine's natural windage. So you can see that the heads are just filthy, we're going to put um, hardened valve seats in the exhaust. New exhaust valves and everything for the heads to suit the unleaded. You can see underneath the manifold, it's just, just contamination. These manifolds here, aluminium in the back, they don't go through water here. The front do, out via the thermostat housing. Um, they barely eat out. Um, we're lucky here, I usually have to weld these up and then machine them. But that just needs a good clean. The pistons. They're just not really too bad. Like I said, there's not much wear in the bore. Um, but we're going to go um, with 253s. Uh, the first available size is 30 if they're over, so it's going to go 30. Um, and you can see the poor old girl. She wouldn't have been running well. See here the camshaft. As you can see here, if I slowly turn around, we got lobe there. Look at that. That's just like a fuel pump lobe, that one. She's just totally gone. Now we've got a fair few run on here. We've got that one, which is a number number eight inlet. We've got number seven exhaust that's just non-existent. Another one gone, just completely gone. All right, so this thing would have been running on, you know, five and a half cylinders. So by the time we give this a freshen up, it should be all good. Another little tip turning engines over when you're stripping them and assembling them I get an old crank gear right, just, just saying so you know, yeah old crank gear here all right you can either weld a socket to it or what I've done here is I've turned the teeth off it down in the lathe this is a multi one and then welded it to a tube and just with a bar and that goes on your key beautiful and like that you can actually, um, if, you, if you'd like, you can um, weld a big socket on it. So you can have a half inch square in there and use a ratchet. So um, that's generally the, the diagnosis on this thing. Its main oil consumption problem was just through oil not being able to get, here you go, look at that. Oil not being able to get drained back. And the valves guide swimming and oil getting sucked down. Also, they're all getting sucked by a uh, positive crankcase ventilation system and um, yeah she's all just old born so we're going to shove all this in the acid tank now all the parts they go in and um, we'll pull them out and um, I'll start going through some basics of some engine reconditioning okay folks I'll catch you later